Understanding Red Leaves, A Journey into English Descriptive Language. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where learning English is not only easy but also fun. Today, we're going to explore the vivid phrase, red leaves. This phrase paints a picture with words and carries more meaning than you might first think. So, let's dive into the beautiful world of descriptive language and find out what red leaves really mean in English. The phrase red leaves refers to the leaves of a tree or plant that have turned red. This is typically associated with the autumn season when many trees in the temperate zones change color. The chlorophyll that makes leaves green breaks down, revealing the red pigments. But beyond this scientific explanation, the phrase conveys the beauty of nature, a sense of change, and the passage of time. In literature and poetry, red leaves often symbolize change and transformation. They can also represent the idea of impermanence, as the red leaves eventually fall from the trees, signifying the end of a cycle and the coming of winter. In some cultures, red is a color of vitality and energy, so red leaves can also symbolize life's vibrancy. In English, we use the phrase, red leaves, to describe scenes, to set the mood, or to illustrate change. For example, in a story, one might say, she walked through the park, the red leaves crunching underfoot, to create a sensory experience. In conversations, someone might use the phrase metaphorically, I feel like the red leaves in autumn, ready for a change. When using the phrase, make sure the context is clear. Saying, red leaves, in a situation that doesn't involve actual leaves or a metaphorical use related to change or autumn could confuse listeners. For instance, it wouldn't make sense to say, I bought a book with red leaves, unless the pages themselves were red. I hope this video has added some color to your English language understanding, especially with the phrase, red leaves. It's a simple yet profound example of how descriptive language can convey much more than basic information. Remember, learning English is like watching the seasons change. It's a process full of color and life. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be painting with words as effortlessly as nature paints the autumn landscape. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious. End with a friendly wave. Goodbye for now, and see you in our next video.